What's going on guys, I'm Mike back at the end with the Weekly Rust Skins videos and this is a fresh force wipe. So I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently today just so it's a little bit quicker because I do have a lot to do. Um, uh, so the top sellers, we have the Retroactive Tool Cupboard, I don't know why I said Active, Shadowborn, Sheet Metal Door and the Blocky Cargo Box in the top three. Um, the Tool Cupboard is a new uh, Tool Cupboard skin, so our first ever TC skin, which is awesome, and it is in the general shop on the second page for $15.40. So, thankfully, Face Punch has hooked me up with one. Um, but if you do want to buy it, then it's going to cost you $15.40. So you're going to be listening to my game in this as well. Um, and I just want to point out that the retro tool cover does make noise when you're close by, but I'm also pretty sure you can't hear it through walls. So, I did a little bit of testing, I couldn't hear it, but. Um, there might be some sort of exploits. It does seem that it has the same hitbox as the regular um, TC, but at the moment there is a strange glitch, at least in the server, I mean, I'm just in a build server, where this TC isn't giving me build proof, and a regular TC is, so guessing it's probably just this server, but that would probably be pretty annoying if it's um, in vanilla as well. So that's $15.40. We'll go over to the limited store, and we have all of these and this is how I'm going to be uh, doing it today. So I'm going to put that on this screen so I can look at it, but this is my character looking absolutely friendly. The minigun is gone and the minigun is back. So we have the minigun in the game. How awesome is this thing? I haven't shot it yet. Um, I've seen a clip of uh, Life Stomper shooting it in staging, um, but that's it. So I'm pretty keen to shoot it myself just to have a little peep of what it's looking like but man this thing is beefy it's intimidating as um i'm guessing we're going to be able to get it um but also the uh the oil and possibly cargo scientists i don't know but the oil rig heavies are gonna have mini guns um but they're also gonna have flamethrowers now military grade flamethrowers so i haven't shot this bad boy either i haven't actually seen this been shot besides in the trailer of uh, the new Rust update and this thing looks so sick. It's crazy how long it took for this to to make into the game. So no animation really for pulling this out and that's what it sounds like but the animation for the minigun is kind of big. So that was no old looking, that's pretty, pretty shaky stuff with the old head movement um, but it does definitely get you in the zone. So you hold right click down and you get this little charge up and then your crosshair will come up if you're not using crosshair X. Also, this is my max speed. So when I let go of uh, mouse 2 or whatever the right click is, this is my walking speed. Is that regular? It seems slower. That is regular. Wow. Um, Alright, that's cool. But my point is that's how fast you're moving when you're charging this bad boy. So let's actually get this thing shot so we can get started with the Rust skins video. If you don't want to watch this, then just skip forward until we get to the skins, but uh, let's let's give this bad boy a test. So. Alright, that's actually crazy. Um, I don't know if I control recoil or if there is no recoil, so I'm just going to do that with my mouse off the pad. But we right click hold down to get this uh, barrel spinning. And then we'll take the mouse off the pad. Mouse one. Okay, there is recoil. I didn't realize. I must have just been pulling down a little bit. Um, but man, this thing feels proper insane. Unload ammo. Okay, it's 5-5. Five, five. Reload. Reload doesn't work. That's interesting. Reload item. I don't know if we're going to be able to get this gun or not. Uh, unless I'm doing something wrong. I... Gonna have to spawn in another minigun now because it seems like you can't reload it. So that's interesting. Um, it could just be a one time thing, so you might only get 75 bullets and then you don't get to use the minigun anymore. But this is what it looks like on the full 75 rounds. I'm gonna just shoot it all. If it's too loud, then just mute it. But. Okay, that was actually sick, like all of the gibs and stuff shooting up. This thing is awesome. Um, I seriously hope I get to use this in-game because this is going to be pretty fun to kill some nakeds on the beach with. Alright, so that's the minigun. I also just want to point out, it does have the three slot attachments for 
um, weapon attachments, and so does the flamethrower, but you can't put the um, attachments on either of the weapons, any of the attachments on either of the weapons. Which is to be expected. But I just wanted to point it out, because the option is there, apparently. So, um, one other thing I just wanted to quickly mention was the description for the minigun and the HMLMG are the exact same. Which I also find that quite interesting too. Not sure if there's going to be another way of loading this minigun. Um, but at the moment it seems like it's glitched or I can't reload it. So I don't know what the go is with that. Just quickly I'll touch base on the TC as you can see in the bottom right. Um, I do have building priv and then when I remove it and place the new TC. I don't have building proof for some reason, but also I'll be quiet now so you can listen. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's a very faint noise that it makes, um, like some sort of radio noise. So yeah, if you can hear that, that is, I don't know, kind of noisy. I, I think it's fine, but hopefully you can't hear it through walls and stuff. I'm sure you can't, because it looked like even this triangle here was impacting the noise a little bit. Um, we'll quickly look at the flamethrower and then we'll move on. Uh, this does use low grade. I don't know if you're going to be able to reload this, but let's have a look. Oh, okay. The range is very, very short. The range is pretty short. Oh, look at the fire effect. That's actually so sick. Oh, that's actually so sick. <laughs> okay, it destroys my um my my targets, but that's actually so wicked. Yeah, I probably played myself with that one. Oh, you guys don't listen to that. Alright, so. Flamethrower. Pretty short range. New flame effect on the ground. Pretty awesome. Pretty quick reload as well. That's the, that's the model. Quite noisy. Um, but that thing is actually wicked. That thing it looks like it's going to absolutely shred. So... Let's get rid of that and we'll get started with the actual skins part of the video now that we've gone through all of the unique stuff. Um, if you want me to show off any other new stuff like this in the future, just let me know. Uh, so we'll get started with the clothing and armor. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to do a little um, uh, editing magic with the face mask because UKN's skin box is really out of date and so it doesn't update everything straight away, unfortunately. So, face mask is obviously unskinned, but we do have our chameleon uh, metal face mask and chest plate, both going for $3.05 each, and it does have the chameleon effect, as you can see on the armor, it is changing color. So, this is actually pretty awesome. I think the face mask does look a little bit strange, but at the same time, I'm actually glad that it looks the way it does. I think it makes it look a little bit more alien slash like um, insect-like. And I think that it's a cool, cool way for this um, for this skin to have gone. Um, I don't know how the clothing's going to get made. I honestly actually hope it's not too flashy. Like I'd rather it be uh, more dark so that the metal gear and the weapon actually stands out if you do use the whole kit. But um, the metal set looks awesome in my opinion. Uh, Three dollars and five cents each. I do think that these will be future standout skins. Um, and even though they're $3.05 each, above standard store price for clothing and armor, I still will recommend investing in them as a long-term investment, as I do think these are going to be quite unique for Metal Gear um, and clothing in particular as well. So, pretty awesome little skins there. You guys will see the face mask probably, like now. But, um, yeah, I think they're pretty wicked, and I do think that you can make money with them as a long-term investment. So we will move over to the Mr. Krabu boonie cap now. Um, from certain perspectives, this uh, boonie cap does look a little bit odd just because of the cutout. Um, that's not really the skin creator's fault. It's just because you can't really do too much about this. No 3D modeling, but from the top view, let's get rid of the sunnies and the 
moustache for now. From the top view, we do have some little legs. We've got a little, little crab chilling. The crab's even got a moustache for some reason, but um, what a little do they. I think this is a pretty cool little boonie cap skin. Definitely a little, uh, a little meme -y looking thing. Um, and it is going for $2.30. So I do think that there's probably some uh, cheaper alternatives on the community market. So check the community market for the boonie caps. But you can't actually craft boonie caps unless you have um, a boonie cap skin. So your only other option for headgear is like a bone helmet, baseball cap, um, stuff like that. But you can put bandanas with baseball caps but also with boonie caps and the projectile protection on a baseball cap compared to a boonie cap is worse so the boonie cap does have 5% extra projectile protection so you will have decent projectile protection on your head 20% when you're wearing a um, bandana and a boonie cap so not too bad definitely better than having no projectile protection at all um, so I would definitely recommend having a boonie cap um, skin as a play skin and I do think that this one's pretty meme -y. I wouldn't be surprised if it ended up going into some uh, Chad uh, Russ YouTubers YouTube videos in the future like Spoon Kids. So I think it is a pretty unique meme looking um, boonie cap skin. And I'm also pretty sure like the screenshots of it in the rest of them store have um, screenshots of it in the water as a meme. So... We've got the crab one there, and then, yeah, we've got this one. So pretty goofy, pretty funny. I do respect the skin creator's screenshots for that one. Um, overall, will I recommend investing in that? I think you could probably get the cheaper off the community market with the buy order. That is what I'd recommend to do. But check what the boonie cap prices are going for. Check what the minimum price one is going for. Compare. Um, I don't think it's going to have a crazy high demand or anything like that, but I do think it is a pretty funny looking um, boonie cap skin that does have the potential of um, having certain spikes throughout its life in the rust community market um if it does make it into popular youtube videos so just keep that in mind all right that's all of the clothing and armor done so we'll move over to the weapons and yet again i'm not going to be able to show the ak in the um in this live footage because ukn just has a crap bloody skin box so um, you guys are looking at it now, but I'm pretty sure it does have a red ADS. I'll just look at the screenshots. Um, it's going for $3.05. This is kind of like a really OG, like, um, AK skin style, in my opinion, where it's, it's, this actually suits the Rust Games theme. Um, so yeah, this is something I would definitely expect to see in Rust, but I think it's also a skin that, uh, should have come out years ago like yeah it's these days all the rough skins are flashy and this one isn't really flashy but there is still some people that like to go for the more realistic um rough stylized uh skins so it does have a nice red ads but that's honestly pretty much it. It's going for $3.05. Once it leaves Rust Adam Store and goes to the community market, I don't think it'll have any demand, and so I'm not going to recommend investing in it. So that is what the AK is looking like. Moving over to the prototype 7164SAR. This is a continuation. I think we had an AK recently for it. I'm sure it probably isn't performing very well, but I also haven't checked. Um... Overall, it is a cool looking SAR skin. The ADS is okay. I do like the yellow tip because the yellow tip isn't really going to contrast too much with anything else. Um, ironically, this is probably the most contrast it would have against like the, um, the background I have now of this flat grass, but you're not really seeing that too much in rust, like similar color to the desert biome, I suppose. <laughs> That is what we're looking at. That's the reload for it. Overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in it. I don't think it's going to have any demand once it leaves the rest of the store and goes to the community market. It's $3.85 above center store price. And I don't think the AK or whatever the other gun was um, has performed well. And I do think that is indicative of how this SAR is going to perform. 
Moving over to the Thunder Gold Double Barrel, going for $3.85. This is what the reload is looking like. It is a continuation of the Thunder Gold set. Check the community market for the Thunder Gold set and see how it's performing. But I don't think for $3.85 you're going to be making money off of this skin. I'm also surprised that Face Punch still hasn't fixed the fact that you can't skin the front ADS on the Double Barrel. And if you can, maybe I'm wigging out. Um, but this one clearly isn't skinned. And I think it does um, contrast with this skin quite harshly because the front and the rear sights are like uh, um, uh, copper and then the rest of it is meant to be like a white and gold uh, double barrel so you know it is what it is but just something to think about have they changed the gibbs or what because something looks crazy with the ground um, either way though I'm just going to quickly get the structure I want to test it. yeah the gibbs seem to be shooting up so much more um, either way though, I'm not going to recommend investing in the double barrel off of the um, Rust Adam store, but I do think you could get it for cheaper on the community market. As a long term play skin, I do think that you can make money off of it depending on how much you get it for as a play skin on the community market. Um, so if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Um, Alright, so now we've got the deployables. We have the box, which I can't show you, but I'll just quickly discuss. The blocky cargo box, I'm pretty sure it is a glowing play skin. Um, and we have had a garage doors uh, skin for it as well so now you're going to be able to actually pair them together but I don't think their glow is very spectacular or anything like that and I don't think that they're really the best option if you are buying skin specifically for its glow and it's $3.85 so these days I really don't think that Facebook should be charging more for glow skins because most of the skins these days are glow skins um, it should probably go back down to its standard store price um, overall, look, it's a cool design. It is um, stylized quite well for um, the theme that it's going for, for the skin creator. I also really like the hazmat, unskinned hazmat in the boat um, driving around the Metal Gear. So that looks awesome. But $3.95, I'm not going to recommend investing in that. I don't think it's going to really make you any money or have any demand. So that is a no from me. Right, the next skin is it's the snake bite. It's the shadow one, but just for a simple sake, we'll go over the snake bite first. So going for three dollars and eighty-five cents, second bag skin. It does have the smallest glow in the world, but it is suitable in my opinion. It is the gl the glowing eyes. So I think it actually does look good. And with this like nighttime bloody glow in the dark crap that we have now. It makes it even easier to see stuff so look i actually think it does look good but if again if you're buying a skin just for its glow then this isn't going to be the skin for you um cheeky little snake design and also a little bit of camouflage in like grassier biomes of course this has no grass on it but in grassier biomes you're not going to see it as well the only problem with that though is if you are buying it specifically for camouflage of course it does have some glowing red eyes and if someone finds out that that's your bag and they see all of these glowing red eyes everywhere they're just going to smack your bag out if they want to get rid of you so something to keep in mind but during the day it is of course going to blend in a lot better at night um uh, at day i don't even know what i'm saying there looks like an awesome design though skin creators done a really good job i personally think the glowing of the eyes actually makes this skin better Sometimes less is more, um, but in the sense of it being more pay to win, unfortunately, that is not the case. So, um, overall, I'm not going to recommend investing in the snake bite sleeping bag off of the Rustlem store, um, but as a play skin, I'm sure it's going to be all right. I don't know what I just did then. So, last skin of the week is the Shadowborn sheet metal door. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't get a skin for it, but I just realized that I used the wrong door. So let's have a look and see if I can get a skin for it. I can't get a skin for it because there's five. Okay. So we'll look at this in the, <coughs> excuse me, we'll look at this in um, the workshop as well, but $4.60 is what this bad boy is going for. I don't know how the Shadowborn sheet metal door is going on the community market at the moment, uh, garage door, sorry. But I'm sure it's probably performing decently um, because it's actually an awesome looking skin. So I'll quickly look that one up. 
um, if the community market wants to load is actually so garbage. $9.69 is what the Shadowborn garage door is going for. So not really a surprise, to be honest, that the Shadowborn sheet metal door, uh, garage door was going for so much because the skin itself is actually sick. So I do think that is definitely a really good indication of how the Shadowborn sheet metal door is going to go for. Um, so overall, even though it's $4.60, it is above seven store price. It looks awesome. It has a nice glow. Um, so it is slightly pay to win. Overall, I'm going to recommend investing in the Shadowborn sheet metal door off of the Rustadon store. And that is going to do it for this week's video. This flamethrower is awesome. The fire effect is awesome. And I also just want to quickly check and see if the regular flamethrower makes that noise before, I mean, um, those effects before we bounce. So the regular flamethrower, hello? The regular flamethrower's fire is different from the military grade's fire because the military grade's fire has that really black smoke at the end of it, whereas the regular flamethrower doesn't. Um, and then let's just test the metal. Yeah, so, I don't know, I think they've remodeled the, the flames, like the flames. Yeah, okay, so that's the old burning flame, and then this is the new burning flame, and that actually looks so awesome, like, look at the blue fire in it and stuff like that. Anyway, that's going to do it for this week, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and remember, have a skits one.